Start as well. Eat up a tad on the board. I do a lot of Vita mods on this channel. Maybe you want to check them out. Recently did a video on installing PSVSD. With that mod, a micro SD card can be installed inside the Vita and mounted with Yamped. Then with a micro SD extender, we moved the internal micro SD to the 3G card bay, accessible from the outside. And now we can back up our game cartridges directly to internal storage. First, if we were using SD to Vita, we need to disable that, going into Settings, Devices, Storage Devices, and uh, making sure that neither of these two say SD to Vita. And in fact, you want UXO to be um, USB PSVSD. If your UX0 is on SD to Vita, you're going to want to put UX0 inside your PSVSD because we need the game slot for a game. So UX0 needs to be the PSVSD and SD to Vita needs to not be on this list. Setting mount point always takes a restart, so I do a quick restart here. Take out your SD to Vita if you have one. I don't currently have a memory card. Uh, you could back up your game to a memory card instead. I don't suggest doing that. Memory cards can only be written to so many times. And there's that micro SD card in that 3G SIM card bay. Nothing can be in your game bay because we need to put games in there. We're going to need a few plugins. I'm going to use Auto Plugin 2. Feel free to install these by hand if you want. We are going to need 0 Syscall 6. Allows games to be played on 360 and 365. We need no NP DRM. This allows us to back up our games and play those backups. And then this last one you only need if you're on a PSTV. It'll allow you to access games that PSTVs are normally not allowed to access. I think it's pronounced Dolce Polce. This guide is the same for PSTV using Yamped, but you would also need that plugin. If you try inserting your game and you get a message that the memory card should not be removed while in use, it will force you to restart, but it is because there is a patch currently on the game card door that we have to turn off. So again, in devices, storage devices, all right, in our YAMPT menu, we go to driver settings and we turn off use YAMPT GC SD patches, the game card SD patches. This will allow games to work normally. We need to reboot again. Okay, now we can finally put uh, our game in. I'm gonna do Raymond Origins, great game. Uh, just plop it in and uh, let it install. After installation, we do want to launch it to create the license folders. I was waiting for like to load in the gameplay because I thought maybe you had to but I really now that I think about it I really don't think you have to go to start an actual game so once you have the game uh, running 
the license folders are created so you can just uh, exit out and now we can copy the files so we head on into Vita shell You do not need Wi-Fi for this. Okay, you can see that top entry there, GRO0. That's actually the uh, game card slot and with a game mounted. So we enter GRO0 and into the app folder and we find the game folder. If we highlight that and hit triangle, a menu pops up. Can choose copy, copy the folder, and head on over to our UX0. This is our internal storage. I like to create a folder in here to put my game backups while I'm making them, not playing them. Using triangle, I create a new folder. I call that game backups to store my game backups. And then in that I create a new folder that I call Raymond Origins to hold the new game I'm creating. It's just the title of the game. You can call it whatever you want. Inside the game title folder, I hit triangle and paste. And it's going to take a long time to copy all of the game files from the uh, game cartridge to the internal storage under Rayman Origins. Okay, all the game files are backed up, but we still need to get a license file or a license replacement file, which is where no NPDRM comes into play. Go down to the no NPDRM folder, open it up in license. Well, first, if you're doing a few of these, take note of the, uh, the number 00052. Okay. In the uh, no NPDRM, under license app and that number, our game, is our work file with this long name. We need to rename it to work, literally W-O-R-K. And then the file needs to be changed to a binary, B-I-N, just the extension, dot B-I-N. So work dot B-I-N. With that file highlighted, hit triangle and copy it. Head back over to our Raymond Origins game backup file. Inside the game ID file, inside S-C-E-S-Y-S -S, and then finally inside package. Once inside package, just a uh, triangle paste. If your work bin file shows up, your game is fully backed up and ready to install. If we back out, using circle to game backups folder. This is the folder that you want to back up to a hard drive or copy over USB. Inside it is our game folder with its ID as its name. Don't copy it. Triangle, move. That's just like copy except for it's cut paste instead of copy paste. You remove it from one location and move it to another. Enter the app folder and triangle paste. Moving to a different location on the same drive is incredibly fast. Okay, so now the game's installed. Um, we can remove it from the game bay. Uh, 
Unfortunately, the game launcher still thinks that it is uh, installed to the game card. So if we try to launch it, it asks for the game card. One more step in Vita Shell. We have to open Vita Shell and refresh the live area. To refresh the live area while in Vita Shell, we hit triangle and select refresh live area. It takes a long time if you have a lot of games installed. Refreshed Raymond Origins. And now the game will boot. Now I can leave my cartridge at home. So if you did copy instead of move, or you didn't install the game after backing it up, you just moved it to a computer or something, uh, we have a couple uh, files to delete. So in cleanup, we go into Vita Shell. We are just deleting a few things on UX0, so everything's in UX0. There is that folder we made in Game Backups, delete that. It'll be huge if you uh, didn't move it, tiny if you did move it. And then in No NPDRM under License, under License, App, here's the Raymond license, we can just delete that. And for the video, we disabled the SD to Vita. Let's re-enable that and get it back inside. So in settings, in devices, storage devices, here's our YAMPT menu. We wanna choose UMA0, set that back to our SD to Vita. You can set it to internal storage if you want. I prefer internal storage be internal. And then under driver settings, we need to reactivate that game card SD patches. Okay, and that's it. Shut it down. The SD to Vita goes back in. And then after powering it up in Vita shell, we can see that the SD to Vita is installed with that uh, card. You could always back up the games to a Sony Vita memory card, but those can only be written to so many times. I don't recommend it. You could also, after putting the SD to Vita back in, go into your game backups here, copy Raymond Origins or whatever game you have, over to your SD to Vita, paste it on there, take your SD to Vita out of your Vita with the Vita off, and put it on your computer.